well, you all are allowing delinquent employees to sit on their sofas at home instead of actually getting to work and doing their jobs. Uh, this is is absolutely unacceptable. Employees are working whether they are in the office or at home and they are Are you monitoring the work that they are doing from home on a regular basis? Yes, we are. So our employees are subject to the same performance management processes and oversight they are whether they're teleworking or working in the office. And we have systems in place that our managers use to schedule, assign, and track workloads. And that includes individual employee workloads in many cases. So real-time understanding of what actions are being processed at any particular given time. Oh, that's gonna hurt! In a nightmare to rival Beetle Grope 2023, Lauren Bobert ran into some trouble this week both at work as she sparred with a social security administration official on the subject of his staff being too incompetent and of course at home as President Biden spoke in her district which has benefited as a result of the Inflation Reduction Act which Bobert herself called a massive failure. We are sacrificing, you are sacrificing American families at the altar of climate change. And it does the exact opposite of what Americans need right now. This is just another con game by the Democrats calling something one Thing Gentlelemen's time another. has expired. This is making the IRS with Gentlelemen's armed time agents has expired. The Pentagon, the State the woman, Department. Gentlelemen is no one. longer recognized. The gentleman from Missouri reserves the bell. Mr. Speaker. How much time do you need? The gentlewoman is no longer recognized. But we'll begin with the hearing, where she, as she has done many times in the past, but never seems to learn, went all in that because people are working from home, they're lazy. I know what you're thinking. Who better to chime in on workplace ethic than the woman who used campaign funds at a bar owned by the man seen groping her at a child-friendly musical in public? We hold Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert to a different standard than every other elected official in Colorado. We hold Congresswoman Boebert to a far lower standard. If we held her to the same standard as every other elected Republican and Democrat in Colorado, we would be here near nightly chronicling the cruel, false, and bigoted things that Boebert says for attention and fundraising. But not to worry, the official himself came prepared. Well, you all are allowing delinquent employees to sit on their sofas at home instead of actually getting to work and doing their jobs. Uh, this is absolutely unacceptable. So our employees are working whether they are in the office or at home and they are- Are you monitoring the work that they are doing from home on a regular basis? Yes, we are. Uh, every, every employee, do you, have, do you have the numbers of the hours that are submitted? Uh, are you counting how many times they're logging into their computers and responding to casework? So our employees are subject to the same performance management processes and oversight they are, whether they're teleworking or working in the office. And we have systems in place that our managers use to schedule, assign, and track workloads. And that includes individual employee workloads in many cases. So real-time understanding of what actions are being processed at any particular given time. Additionally, our employees are required to be accessible to their supervisors, clients, colleagues and external parties during work hours via a variety of means, including instant messaging, video platforms, and telephone. They are connected to the workplace, whether they are in the office or at the home. Th then why is the backlogs for Social Security applicants increased from 41,000 to 107,000? Because we've been historically underfunded for a number of years now. I don't we think are you're underfunded. You're, you're funded at the Nancy Pelosi levels, at the Democrat levels. We just continued that same funding. So I would say- At we, pandemic level spending. So I'd say we have an increase of over 8 million beneficiaries over the last 10 years. At the same time, we experienced our lowest work staffing levels at the end of FY22. That's a math problem. I mean, that is a problem. If you have those workloads you know, increasing and you don't have the staff to take care of those workloads, you're going to have the backlogs that you're talking about, Representative. <laughs> got them. We fucking got them. And this humiliation comes merely a couple weeks after another Democrat enlightened her on how discourse works on the House floor, which to no surprise she was completely unaware of and had to be taught in real time. No one's recognized. And I asked the gentlelady to yield for a question. No one's recognized. It's not my time. I asked you to yield. I have reserved. You're free to speak. <laughs> yes. I'm asking if you'll yield for a question. Sure. Ask your question. What funds in this bill are used uh, for the purposes you... Uh, Okay. Uh, are opposed to. Oh, sorry, I couldn't hear the gentleman. I was getting clarification. This is precautionary. Precautionary for what? 
I'm asking. There are sanctuary city policies. Yes, I understand. I understand what that are that are in place that are allowing the refuge of illegal aliens in these cities, and there is an influx in crime I, and I, drugs. I understand that, but what you've said is none of the funds in this bill can be spent for that objective. And that is precautionary. What, what, I want what to funds are in this bill to be sp spent for that objective? I, I have seen this administration use all sorts of funds no, to protect illegal aliens. Re and this reclaiming is my time, Ms. Bober. To ensure that it will not be. Reclaiming my time. There are no funds in this bill to do that. You would think would be embarrassing to someone with any shred of dignity, but this is the person we are discussing here. The same person who on the House floor lambasted Biden's infrastructure bill that her own district is now benefiting from, to which the president was sure to remind voters in attendance. We are sacrificing, you are sacrificing American families. The historic investments we're celebrating today is in Congressman Boebert's district. She's one of the leaders of this extreme mega movement. She, along with every single Republican colleague, voted against the law that made these investments and jobs possible. And that's not hyperbole, that's a fact. And then she voted to repeal key parts of this law. And she called this law a massive failure. You all know you're part of a massive failure? Tell that to the 850 Coloradans who get new jobs in Pueblo and CS Win thanks to this law. Tell that to the local economy that's going to benefit from these investments. Tell that to anyone who wants to listen. We're investing in America. We're investing in Americans. And it's working. Since I took office, my investing in America agenda has led to manufacturing boom that's attracted over $600 billion. $600 billion in private investment from private companies in America and around the world. Manufacturing and industries of the future. When I took office, we set a goal to produce 100% carbon-free electricity by 2035. And because of my commitment to clean energy future, made in America clean energy companies started investing here, here in Colorado. Here in Colorado, CS Wind, a Korean company, makes towers and wind turbines. I know you all know it. The people seeing this on television may not be certain. They used to make all their wind towers abroad. Then they decided to make them here in America as well. And today, CS Wind Factory in Colorado is the largest wind tower manufacturer in the entire world. In the entire world. With over 870 employees. It's simple. And considering Bobert only won her last election by a few hundred votes, I suggest she spends more time getting her resume in order as opposed to calling other employed workers lazy, as she might find herself at home, on the couch, not working. Very soon. Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert's recent performance of sorts that got her thrown out of the theater in Denver was a lot of things, but it wasn't a surprise. I haven't seen a single person say why I am shocked that Lauren Boebert was rude, disruptive, and belligerent. This is, after all, the Congresswoman who suggested that a Muslim colleague was a suicide bomber. I haven't seen anyone surprised that Boebert did not tell the truth about what happened. Because, I mean, days before, we just fact-checked her latest false claim about migrants. I haven't seen anyone say that it was out of character for the congresswoman to appear to berate theater staff members who were just trying to do their jobs. Really, the only surprise in all of this is that Boebert, once she got caught, apologized and said that she didn't live up to her values. Hey Midas Mighty, love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.